Stephen here. Welcome back to my fireside. On a Sunday evening. Happy Sunday. Hope you've had a good weekend. I'm smoking for the first time, disgracefully, a pipe that was gifted to me some months ago by Tree, our good mate. And I'd put it to one side and completely forgotten about it. And I was just looking for something earlier and noticed it. So, apologies Tree, this is the first smoke in the Falcon that you gifted me. I don't know what the shape of that bowl is, or what the name of that shape is. There you go. It smokes beautifully so far. I'm not really used to falcons and I think I might have packed it a bit too um, loose. Or maybe a bit too moist as well. My temper. an old iron nail that came out of one of the roof beams I pinched earlier in the winter from the skip round the corner and burnt on the fire and this was left behind in the ashes. I'm smoking some Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky. I'm drinking Young Special London Ale. I don't know if I've shown you the bottle top. Mm. Can't get it to show. It's a ram's head. The ram being the um, emblem of the Young's Brewery in South London. Although they've long since been bought out by one of the conglomerates. Cheers. Happy Sunday evening all. All the best. Thanks everyone for um, responding to my question about the volume of the music. There was a pretty significant majority in favour of it being just right, not too loud. So thank you for letting me know. You will however notice I'm not playing any music. I um, made a video last night and um, you know, I did the whole business, set it up then edited it and um, saved the film, uploaded it to YouTube, all the usual palaver. Even after editing it was 20 minutes long, quite a long one for me. And I got it up onto YouTube, I upload them as a private video. And then I put in the, um, the tags on all the stuff and the title of the video and then switch it to public. Switch it to public. Your video has been blocked on copyright grounds. Now, it was copyright on the music, obviously. Now, I've done what I always do. Before I shoot the video, I go to the creator studio on YouTube, to the music policies bit, and I check out the copyright position on the music that I intend to play in the background. I've done it last night as well, and I've got the same response that I have on all the other stuff that I've played in the past, which is, you can play it, it's viewable worldwide, 
and we might stick some ads on it just to claim back a bit of revenue. But other than that, you can go ahead. So that's what I did. So I was a bit cheesed off after having gone through the whole palaver of producing the video, editing it and uploading it and all that, to then be told I can't show it. It was a fair amount of time, you know, <laughs> wasted really. And it's left me in a bit of a quandary because, you know, it told me, and when I checked the music beforehand, that um, it was okay for me to use it. So now, I don't know what to do. Because it seems that the music policies advice from YouTube is no longer entirely accurate. And so I didn't want to put any music on tonight and go through filming a video and uploading it, only then to be told I can't, put, I can't show it. So, I'm not playing any. I've disputed the thing from last night. And what's often the case with these things, especially on YouTube, I don't think you've ever tried to report anyone or anything on YouTube, but you have about three or four definition you can select you have to select from three or four things about what your issue is about what it concerns and of course none of them entirely relate to your own particular circumstances and what you want to say so as normal i had to choose the one that most closely corresponded to it probably is the wrong one but then i did add some text below and said you know it told me that i could do this and that you would just add adverts to it. We'll see. They have until the 9th of April to respond. And until then the video is blocked. I'm actually wondering if it's anything to do with um, YouTube's new monetization policy. I mean, like the rest of you, I don't monetize my videos, never have, never will. It wouldn't be worth it for the pitiful amount of money they're drawing. But they've introduced these new rules whereby you can't monetize videos if, you've, if the channel has less than a thousand subscribers and has attracted less than 4,000 hours viewing in the previous 12 months. I would never get up to that. And this effectively means that small channels can't monetize, they can't have adverts. They can't choose to have adverts. Well, I'm wondering if a knock-on effect to, from that is that, um, sorry, the boy's scratching himself down there. Um, I'm wondering if the knock-on effect from that is that um, even, you, even though you're not choosing to do it, they can't monetize them either by putting adverts on if you don't meet the monetization requirements and whether it's effectively going to mean that small channels can no longer play copyrighted music because adverts cannot be attached to them by YouTube, not by the channel owner themselves. Um, it's left me a bit down because I loved playing the music and I loved sharing it with you and I loved the feedback I got on it. And I had so much stuff lined up to play to you, and um, now it looks like that's all over and done with. you just got me instead. And I'm afraid me without the music might be a bit tedious. <laughs> Never mind. Life goes on. So there you go. That's why there's no music. I don't want to waste time making a video with it in and then find out because you don't find out until after obviously um, so I don't know I might make a couple of short test ones with other music and put them up and see whether they're blocked as well and that will let me know whether it is a carpet ban from then on there you go I mean eventually when I'll be moving back outside when the summer comes or the, the warm weather in the spring um, you dirty bug, sorry, dirty boy, 
I spilt some coal dust when I was refilling the scuttle earlier and he's eating it. I know pregnant women are occasionally supposed to um, have a craving for coal, but there's obviously something that he likes about it too. Hopefully he might do something about his flatulence, who knows. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That's my tale of woe. Possibly no more music, but as I said, I'll be going out back outside soon anyway, and I didn't used to play music when I was out there. And who knows, by next time winter comes around, the YouTube rules can have changed again. In the meantime, we'll soldier on. I meant to say, I keep these bottle caps from all the bottled beer I have. I've got a huge bag full of them. Not that I drink a lot. I wouldn't want you to think that. I mean, they've been collected over a long period of time. And I keep saying, I'm going to make fridge magnets. I mean, I haven't got a big enough fridge now to hold them all. <laughs> I like them. Some of them are very attractive designs. I particularly like this one with the ram's head. And there are some other really interesting ones as well. Because a couple of winters passed. Um, there's um, a company in Belgium, because Belgium is the beer capital of Europe. Fantastic array of beers they do. They're such a small country, it's quite incredible. And um, a couple of winters passed. I didn't do it last winter. Um, I ordered beer in from them for, um, for the Christmas period. Because you get fantastic Belgian beers, especially the Trappist Monastery stuff. Often incredibly strong. I don't know why, yeah, what it is with monks and strong beer. <laughs> no wonder they got a vow of silence, some of them. <laughs> I'm probably being disrespectful there, I don't mean it. Yeah, so I've got some um, one of those bottle tops too. Any road up, I'm on a real waffle train here, so... I'm going to knock, oh, knock it on the head. Stick another bit of bookshelf on the fire. This house used to be three storeys. It's near, down to two and a half now. <laughs> my lame attempts at humour. Right. I feel lost without my music. What can I do? Maybe I'll get it sorted. Who knows? In the meantime, me and the boy. Did you enjoy that coal? Yeah? Good. I'm not getting any more. Me and the boy wish you um, all the best for a Sunday evening. And hope you all have a good week ahead. And uh, who knows? Hopefully spring is on the way now. I can't wait. So I'll say cheers and all the best and I'll speak to you again soon. Ta-da.